Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. Last night, she gave a look to the book he'd given her. John has a shower every evening when he arrives from work. I don't like to give a vague reply to someone's question. He was taking no chances in his career. She gave an amused laugh. In this lesson, we're going to look at the lexical structures. So stay tuned. So what are the lexical structures? They are phrases that are used mainly in everyday English. And they are made up of the lexical verbs plus indefinite article, sometimes, so that's why it's in brackets, plus adjectives, sometimes, plus a noun. And what are the lexical verbs? Well, they are common verbs such as do, give, make, take, hold, set, etc. that indicate that uh, somebody performs an action and not that somebody creates or affects something. What, what do I mean by that? These verbs have very little meaning and thus the noun that follows it, okay, so this noun has most of the meaning of the sentence. Let's look at my example just to make it clearer. Last night, she gave a look, so gave is the lexical verb to give, a indefinite article, look is the noun, to the book he'd given her. So here, look takes most of the meaning of the whole sentence and not give. So sometimes it can be, uh, com can be confusing because some people take these as collocations. Sometimes they can be collocations, but not always. What are collocations? Well, collocations, if you want to see the, my lesson on collocations, you may click here. But collocations are nouns plus verbs or adjectives plus noun, or a verb, plus noun. So, for example, watch TV, listen to music, or read the newspaper. They are usually put together. They are collocations. These are called collocations. I'm going to give you more examples just to um, give you the whole idea of the lexical structures. John has a shower every evening when he arrives from work. In this case, we have the indefinite article a, or a. A shower every evening when he arrives from work. Another example could be, I don't like to give a vague reply to someone's question. In this case, I added an adjective. In this case, is vague. Vague reply. Reply is the noun. And uh, we have the indefinite article, a, eh, again. A vague reply. Another example could be, she was having an amazing time when I arrived at the party. In this case, we have the adjective amazing, and so it starts with a vowel sound, and so we have the indefinite article an, an amazing time. Time, obviously, is the noun. The other example, he was taking no chances in his, in his career. Well, in this case, I added no, just to make the sentence negative. What do I mean by that? Okay, no chances. No chances. Not possibility of uh, an opportunity. No chances. So, I could have said he wasn't taking chances in his career. Okay, he wasn't taking chances in his career. It's the same thing. But I chose to say he was taking no chances in his career. This is another way to um, have uh, the lexical structure with the uh, word no before the noun. Now, I'm going to give you another example. John took no sugar in his coffee. Okay, I could have said John didn't take sugar in his coffee. It's the same thing. 
but I chose to say no sugar in his coffee just to stress the fact that sugar, he didn't take any sugar in his coffee. Now, uh, most of the, the, in these cases, the, um, the nouns, which are also sometimes verbs, can be intransitive verbs. So, for example, she gave an amused laugh. In this case, laugh is a noun. But if I wanted to, um, to turn it into a verb, I could have said, she laughed amusingly. Laughed, in this case, is an intransitive verb. It doesn't take an object. There is a lesson on that. You can click here if you want to watch these, these verbs or these um, lesson right there. Now, another example could be, he had a good cry after watching the sad movie. In this case, cry is the noun. But if I wanted to make it into a, a verb, I would have said, he cried after watching the movie. And in this case, cry is an intransitive verb because it doesn't take an object. Another thing that I wanted to tell you uh, about uh, the, le the lexical structures is that um, in British English, they prefer to use have in the, the lexical structure as opposed to take in American English. So, have a shower, for example. Have a shower. In American English, take a shower. But it's your choice to use either have or take. Now, let's recap. So in this lesson, we looked at the lexical structures. These are phrases made up of uh, um, the lexical verbs plus an infinitive article plus maybe an, an adjective and then a noun. The lexical verbs are very common verbs such as do, make, take, have, etc. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, requests, or if you want to write your own example, you may do so under this video. Don't forget to share the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you do, next week you'll get a new lesson on your email. So have a great day and see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.